Shabbat Shalom. I'm Stephen Ben Danuni. You're watching Israeli News Live. We are now officially Israeli News Live. We registered uh, with the state now and have become an offic officially recognized news organization. We also have submitted our application with uh, Israel, Israeli officials as well, and uh, we've actually completed all the processes for approval with them. So soon, besides uh, www.israelinewslive.org, you will also be able to find us at www.israelinewslive.co.il under an Israeli news organization guideline there. Anyway, it's a pleasure and, and, and a wonderful time to get to come and speak with you quickly about some updates going on in Israel. Uh, just to take a look here at uh, Roots uh, Shiva's news link here, a senior Hamas official, Yismael uh, Hania, is declaring that they should take uh, to the ICC and bring war crimes against Israel for the things that happened in Gaza. But the thing is, who really should be brought to the war crimes tribunal in this case here is Hamas themselves. It is Hamas that would grab up the children and hold them and cause many children to be killed as a result. It's kind of absurd that this man would actually have the audacity to accuse Israel of war crimes when it is their own people that have put their civilians and their citizens in harm's way, putting their rocket launchers in schools, putting them in cemeteries, putting them in mosques, putting them in hospitals, hiding their arms caches in such places as this, and then have the audacity to accuse Israel of war crimes. Well, what can you expect with such things such as this here? Uh, anyway, uh, John Kerry also, he's, uh, he has rules invol the involvement... Uh, Excuse me. Uh, Kerry rules out Iran's involvement in ISIS campaign. The Secretary of State says it would be inappropriate for Iran to attend a meeting in Paris on how to defeat the Islamic State group. Uh, the U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry said on Friday it would be, be would be inappropriate for Iran to attend the upcoming meeting in Paris on how to defeat Islamic State group. Um, speaking to the reporters in the Turkish capital, Kerry said has not been formally asked about whether Iran should participate in the meeting of diplom diplomats set for Monday. However, he added, Iran should not be there given its support for Syrian President Bashar al-Assad in the three-year war against rebels that are trying to oust him from power. Kerry is uh, Ankara to press Turkey to join inter international coalition against the Islamic State. Uh, a day after he received the backing of the 10 Arab countries for a coordinated military campaign against the Islamic State fighters. All kinds of interesting things happening there in the Middle East. As we know, tensions are always on edge there. Hezbollah uh, has, has been, uh, there, Israel is expecting at any time to have a war with Hezbollah out of Lebanon there and with the militants that are in Lebanon. Also, the Israelis know that, uh, or some officials are reporting that soon, uh, they believe that rockets will once again fire, be fired from Gaza by Hamas uh, once they realize they've received no political concessions. Anyway, as we often hear the very saying that is so true, this is the time to pray for the peace of Jerusalem and all nations have troubled themselves with it. I'm Stephen Bentonun, Israeli News Live.